Hi guys, Steve here, and I'm going to show you how to tame a Giga. Now, the hardest part of it is getting it down and knocked out. But before we get to that, I'm going to quickly show you what doesn't work, so you don't waste your time and resources. Okay, the first one that doesn't is firing a chain bowler from a ballista. I've just got to adjust for the drop off. It doesn't incapacitate it or even slow it down. The next method that could work, but is not very good, is to put a lot of large bear traps down and try and trap it. Each trap will hold the Giga for about 5 seconds before it bites its way free. I suppose you could do it this way, but it's going to waste a lot of resources making all these traps. Plus the amount of time you need to take it down, you're going to need a very long valley. Another method that's not very efficient is to jump off your Argent and grappling hook it. You need to be high above the ground when you do this, because if you're too low down the bird will just try and land. I'll quickly show you. And I almost got eaten. What you need to do is grapple the Argent when you're much higher up, then it'll just hover there instead of trying to land. It's the same for all birds and quetzals. This should be high enough. Press the right mouse button to lower you down, and the left mouse button to raise you up, or whatever the buttons are on the consoles. Then when you're in range, start shooting it. You carry one crossbow that you use with a grappling hook, then you switch to another crossbow that you use to fire narco arrows. I'll just get down a bit closer. That's got its attention. You're okay shooting it a few times, but a problem with this method is that the Giga just wander off, and I'll go into why in a minute. So, every time a Giga does go for a walkabout, you have to go back up to your bird and reposition yourself over it again, which wastes a lot of time, and also grappling hooks. If you do try this method, kite it into a ravine first with high sides. That will keep it in a smaller area, so it's less likely to walk away from you. Trying to do it in a big open space like this just isn't going to work. For the best and easiest way to tame a Giga, you need another tribe mate and an Argent bird. All you need to do is get them to pick you up and fly over the Giga and chase it. Then when you're in range, shoot the Giga, preferably in the head. I use narco arrows and a crossbow because it virtually costs nothing, but you can use a long neck and trank darts if you want. Then basically all you have to do is just carry on chasing and shooting it, until it goes down. But make sure they don't fly too low, as you might get eaten. And watch the Argent stamina. It's easy when you're with someone else, but things get a lot more difficult when you try and tame it solo. I've flown to the mountain at 3558, as over the months that's where most of the Gigas have spawned. You should mainly look for one after a server restart. The Giga has two modes. Attack if you're in range, then run away if you're not. You can dismount your Quetzal platform, then try and shoot the Giga. It will try to attack you for a short time, but because it can't because you're out of reach, it will then go into its runaway mode. This is a real pain when you're solo, because you've got to switch back and forth between flying after it and shooting it, and it will lose torpor when you're trying to catch up with it. You could try and get it stuck in some rocks, but again if it can't attack you, it's more than likely that it'll just run away. Then you have to spend your time flying after it again. So your best option that most people use is to lead it down the hill and get it trapped against a cliff. I've led it into this gorge where it's got deep sides that it can't get up. When you start shooting it, it won't be able to attack you, so it'll try and run away again. But because of the high cliff sides, it can't. It took quite a few tries, but I finally got it stuck. Now all you have to do is keep shooting with narco arrows until it passes out. That's going to take a long time. I normally pack 8 crossbows and about a thousand narco arrows just to make sure. When it does finally pass out, land and give it narcotics as soon as possible. 
It regains consciousness ridiculously quick. Again, I normally pack a thousand narcotics just to be safe, and I force feed them my giga a hundred at a time. If that stops the torpor going down so quickly, then it slowly starts going back up. After you've stabilised its torpor, make sure you store plenty of narcotics inside its inventory. I use a starve technique of taming for other large dinosaurs. What that means is you keep it unconscious with narcotics until it's hungry enough that when you do give it kibble it will eat it all one after another in one go until it's tamed. That way if something goes wrong when you're taming it, like if it wakes up or if someone kills it, you don't lose any of your quetzal kibble as it's really expensive to make and needs lots of resources. The Giga is the largest carnivore in the game at the moment, so nothing's going to attack it, even if it's unconscious. But I still wouldn't risk it being undefended. So, like all my large dinosaur tames, I'm going to place a spike wall around it. You never know if a wild rex will chase another dinosaur into your tame, then kill it while trying to eat the dinosaur it's after. I place a spike wall along the edge of a cliff, so nothing can drop down from here. Like I say, you should really protect all your large dinosaur tames by doing this. You don't want to be sitting there for hours and then have a wild dinosaur screw your tame up. Make sure the cliff spike wall extends far enough to the sides. That should be enough to stop dinosaurs falling diagonally into the tame. Then we do the other spike wall in a semicircle around the Giga on the ground. Pardon? Better out than in. You'll need to leave an entrance to get in and feed the Giga. So move one of the spike walls away from the rest and leave yourself a passageway. Make sure you give yourself enough room, otherwise you'll keep touching the spikes and harming yourself. This is what the finished spike wall looks like from above. I am now going to let this Giga wake up to show you an easier way of trapping it. It could take a long time to get the Giga stuck in the side of a cliff like that. A quicker way is try to find a natural rock formation that the Gigas can't step over. Next, block off any openings with dino gates. If you've watched the Hellfire's base tour, you know these are at the right height to stop Gigas getting past. But leave one side open to bring a Giga in. Next, place a couple of large bear traps at the back of a cage. These are to trap the Giga here for a few seconds while you go around the front and close the entrance. It might be better to place those before you kite the Giga in here, because I nearly just got eaten. You could build a cage with those gateways, but with the rarity of the Giga spawns and how much that would cost in resources, it's not really worth it. It might chomp on the gateways for a bit, but it won't destroy them. So lead the Giga onto the traps, try not to be bitten too much. Then when it's caught in the bear trap, fly down to the front, land, then block off its escape with more dino gates. Be quick and careful that it doesn't bite you. Now you have a giga trapped and it can't get away or attack you. Well, not if you don't get too close. Next, find a good position to shoot it from. But don't get too close like this, because it will turn around and try and have you for lunch. You can shoot it from the ground like this, or if you've got cliffs next to you, you can use those. But 
But pay attention, because it's still got a huge bite range. They might be able to still get you, even from here. After that, I wasn't going to risk it, so I started shooting it from down here again. And after a long time, we finally get it down. I'll show you for longer how quickly the unconscious bar goes down. This is why you're going to need hundreds of narcotics. It's the biggest carnivore, so it's going to take the most. That's the hard bit done, now for the long boring bit. Just make sure I give it enough narcotics while I explain the next part. Okay, in the description box below this video I'm going to put a link. Click the show me more text if you can't see it. The link will take you to a taming calculator that I use. It's the most accurate one I've found and it's usually always right. First of all select the creature we want to tame which is a Giganotosaurus. I call him Gigantosaurus because it sounds better. Next put in what level the Giga is. This one's 36. The taming method is standard. If you're on an official server you leave the multipliers as they are. To the right of Kibble it shows you the type needs to be Quetzal and click it to see how many you need. It also tells you to the side. It'll give you an estimate of how many narcotics you'll need. I usually pack a thousand, if there's anything else there I want to tame. Next, because we're starving our dino, click the starve text, and that'll open up another section. On the top two bars, you want to put your maximum and current food of your Giga's stats. You find this on the right hand side of its inventory. So his maximum is 4,030. And its current food is on 2,833. Once that's done, it tells you how long you have to starve it for. It's a low level, so we only have to do it for 43 minutes. At the bottom, you can set a time for an alarm to ring. That lets you know how long is left before you give it kibble. I recommend adding a couple of kibble, just in case it's a few off. Plus, I would give the gig of a kibble a couple of minutes before you're supposed to. Then if there's any leftover kibble, you can take it out and save it. Then, finally, when you've done all that, you'll end up with your very own giga. Grrr. On the next video I'll be showing you where all the titanosaurs are, then hopefully how to take them. Thanks for watching, and if this has been helpful please like and subscribe, and don't forget to check out your other videos at the end. Goodbye!